My name is Estes Tarver, and I would like to welcome you to our series of instructional videos dealing with self-taping professional quality auditions that will get you paying jobs, or what Sean and I like to call, how to book it from your basement. Say hi, Sean. I've been an award-winning actor and teacher for over 20 years, and I am so excited to share the practical tips and tricks to self-taping that have led me and my students to book major film, television, and theater, all at the highest levels in the industry. Here are just a few of the shows I've acted on personally, or that my students have booked directly from self-tapes using the techniques that we are about to teach you. Okay, now I would like to introduce Sean, who is going to be my guinea pig. Uh, Sean! Sean is a professional actor and teacher who has worked in major television, film, and theater. He also teaches at my studio, Moonlight Stage Company, in Raleigh, North Carolina. And if you would like to read more about Sean or myself, take a look at the links below. Okay, go away, Sean. Now, let's get down to business. Before we can make a great audition tape, we have to start with what you need equipment-wise to create a professional quality tape. So, you might be thinking, oh great, I'm not even a minute into this video and Estes is already trying to sell me equipment. I'm gonna have to shell out a ton of money for a fancy camera and amazing lights and microphones, a new sound stage that costs a million and a half dollars. No, you don't. And I'm not selling you anything but practical skills that will make you money you're gonna get your equipment from somewhere else. I don't sell it. However, I will show you how you can have yourself completely ready to book that TV series for under $200, maybe even cheaper than that. Let's start by taking a look at what we use at our studio. In order to tape an audition well, you need three main things, lights, a camera, and a tripod. Let's start with the lights. The world is more and more gravitating to LED lights. They don't get hot like halogens, they're cheaper, and the bulbs last a lot longer. Years, in fact. Now, the lights in our studio for a package of two costs, guess, $83 on Amazon. And that $83 includes two lights, stands, bulbs, and diffusers, or soft boxes. These are the things that go around the light to make the light less harsh and more even across the subject. So they make you look pretty. Well, you know, you can't work a miracle. <laughs> okay, the camera. The camera we use... Hold up, before we talk about which camera to buy, let's talk about the perfectly good HD camera on the smartphone you're probably watching this video from right now. Taping from your phone. There's several reasons casting discourages this. Let's list them all and solve them all. One is that a lot of people don't use a tripod. You can get a tripod set up for your phone easily online or at Walmart or Target or any of those retail stores. You just need a phone adapter for a tripod, but you need it. Even if you think you're holding it still, your tape is being watched with a ton of videos on a tripod that look totally still. So in the pile, yours looks a little shaky. Two, landscape versus portrait. Landscape means horizontal. Portrait means vertical. You need to tape it landscape. One, because it's the industry standard and it's how we are used to watching film and television. Two, because in portrait mode there's so much wasted screen so a close-up doesn't even compare to a good close-up in landscape mode. So make sure to be in landscape mode and on a tripod and already you are better than most phone recorded auditions. Three, autofocus. Another issue with phone tapes is that the autofocus recalibrates while you are recording so you get these funny little twitches in the middle of your scene. There are apps for a couple of bucks that work great to lock the focus for you. Filmic Pro is one that I use and recommend. It keeps the focus from twitching, it locks it. And number four, exposure. Exposure is basically the amount of light coming into the camera so it's kind of like the brightness you're seeing on the shot. Basically, you're gonna have the same situation as you do with focus. The exposure constantly adjusts on a phone during recording and it can be distracting. So again, apps like Filmic Pro enable you to lock the exposure so that it doesn't shift. Now, once you've tackled all four of these obstacles, we won't be able to tell if you taped on a phone or a camera. So you can knock that studio tab down even more if you wanna use your phone. Just use it landscape, on a tripod, and lock your focus and exposure and you will be in great shape. 
Okay, so why buy a camera when I can just use the camera on my smartphone? Well, smartphone cameras can be a little more cumbersome than a regular camera, and the capabilities are slightly less if you want to make adjustments in your studio with your lighting. Also, you won't use up the data on your phone for countless auditions, and the camera also has a memory card that makes it easy to transfer and delete unwanted stuff after you're done with it. So let's talk about the camera that we use in our studio. The camera we use is a Nikon Coolpix S6500, and you can find it online for around 80 bucks. The reason we like this camera is it has great picture, but even more importantly, without a mic, the sound quality is still very good for an audition. Then you need a tripod, which you can get at most discount retail stores like Walmart or online for 30 bucks or less. And a blank wall painted a solid color, preferably a baby blue or lavender or off-white. You should pick a color that best suits your skin tone. My favorite is baby blue. I think it works for a lot of different skin tones. You should avoid whites and blacks and neon colors or harshly bright colors or any distracting patterns. This tape is about your acting, not the wall behind you. Muted tones and soft colors will work the best. Okay, let's take a look at Sean now. He's evenly lit, it's easy to focus on him, and he's way more attractive than usual because of our simple and inexpensive setup. Wait. You may be saying to yourself, but my friend does all this really fancy lighting and editing and his tapes look like a movie. Trust me, that is a lot of wasted energy. Most of the time, the producers, casting directors, and directors have an idea of what character quality they're looking for, so they want to see your quality. They don't want to be blown away with cinematic lighting and special effects. Just make it easy for them to watch and enjoy your work and your unique quality. You're going to be doing a lot of this. Don't burn yourself out or break your bank on things that casting doesn't need or require. Remember, I've had a lot of personal bookings and student bookings from simple, smart tapes that will keep your energy in the right place, making your work your best. We hope this has been informative for you, and if it has, we highly encourage you to consider purchasing the set at the link below. We have a set of 10 videos that will give you a ton of practical skills for different types of self-tapes and really help you find what books a job. We're offering you all the practical skills required for successful self-taping for basically the price of a one-hour coaching session with me. If you book one job, you will pay for all the studio setup we mentioned above, the cost of the video set, and you'll still have a handful of money left over. The average episodic television show pays a little under $1,000 plus residuals. So if you buy the equipment, set up a studio, buy the video set, and book one line or even one word on a TV show, you will still have about $400 left over after taxes and agent fees, before residuals, which can be hundreds of dollars or thousands depending on the project. So think about the long-term value here. The topics of all the chapters covered in the course are listed here. Please leave us a comment or question or suggestion for other topics you'd be interested in learning more about below. So invest in your acting practically and get to work. Book it from your basement. Sean, say bye. Uh. <laughs> See you next time on how to book it from your basement.